cave. It's only seven in the morning and the company to give me a new sub pump is here. Praise the Lord. Okay, the back door is open, getting ready. Now they're gonna jackhammer, so I had to take the mister outside. I hope my bunny's gonna be okay. Everybody in the house is sleeping. It's only 7.30 in the morning and it's gonna be loud. Jackhammering, making the cement floor bigger. I'm getting a stronger pump with battery backup. Oh yeah. Look at this man. He's just throwing himself down, getting all dirty. Oh, he loves it. Oh, the mister. Oh, mister kitty. Look at you. He loves it. Yeah, it's only 7.30 and I had to take him out now. Usually I don't take him out this early, but I don't know. I don't think he's gonna take this jackhammering too kindly. My bunny hopefully will be okay. He's in the house, tucked away. So I can hear the... Can you hear the jackhammer? I don't know if you can, listen. They're ripping up my basement floor. <laughs> Guten Morgen, everyone. Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler, homeschooler. I'll try to spin with the leash in my arm. All around schooler. Hey, there's the mister. He loves it, he loves it, he loves it. And there's the mister buns, let me show you. There he is. The bunny looks so tired. He's just sitting there. I could tell. You've been up all night long. Why don't you go to sleep, Bun Buns? I think the mister found his place. He loves it. That's where I throw all the scraps from the yard. But he loves it. Look at you, Mr. Kitty. You love that? Do you love it over there, Mr. 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 Mr.? Oh, it's like a soft bed, isn't it? Bunny decided to listen. I told him that that was a really bad spot over here for the hawks. And now he's going to sleep over there. All right, may St. Francis pray for you. God bless you. And Mr. is watching. I always tell him we're not gonna bother him. And see this here? I keep the dandelions growing in a section of my yard. It's a really odd spot, but I noticed a big patch of it because I use this for vitamin C. That's right. That's what the Italians do, and instead of buying it, it's free. So, I will throw it in my smoothies. Obviously not right now, so I'll probably cut this part down when it, next time I mow. Pretty good, right? The bunny's sleeping, look. Oh, that's really not a good spot for you either. That's not a good spot for you, you have to go hide. Is the cement. While I stand with the mister under a tree, 
I want you to know that I was thinking about how like peaceful my morning has been and I want you to know that I know I've done a lot of projects around my home in the past and that still doesn't take away the fear, if you will, because um, I, I'm i on my own now. When I say that, I mean God is my father, you know, and he watches over me. He's also my husband. That's what he says in the Bible, that he is the husband of the widow and the father of the fatherless. So um, I very much know and I always ask St. Joseph, oh my gosh, for help. He is my helper when it comes to all the um, help around my house because he was the he was the foster father of the Holy Family and a carpenter, so I trust in him. And the thing is, I want you, I want to be a testimony for you that if you're scared, that it doesn't mean that you have to not move, right? So... Like I always say, if you had a commander in chief and he was guiding you through the military and you were stuck in the jungle and you had to get out of there. You had to run across the field and you had to get to safety. You would want somebody. Yeah, they're probably gonna be shaking in their shoes and their boots, oh yeah. You want somebody that you know is going to be brave and, and get you the heck out of there. That's exactly how I see everything that I am doing. I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just use common sense. I didn't go to high school, not a lick of a day in, in at all. And um, I did do um, a nice amount of college, never got a degree because I got pregnant and I was like studying Spanish and I was like, I cannot think about this while I wanna vomit, you know what I mean? So then I ended up having a family and that was awesome. And that was exactly my vocation was motherhood. But I, I just use common sense. You know, I, I go by that gut feeling inside that will help me determine, right? So I remember for a long time, for instance, I was looking for companies to put windows and siding on my house. And I would stand there and I would say, you know what? I would think that it would be this much money. Well, the companies would come, they might as well have said, Lisa, Will you please lay on the ground because we are going to suck all of your blood with straws. And so I was like, what? I said, that is astronomical. I said, if you think I'm going to go get another mortgage, another loan, I said, no. So you have to really just don't go, you know, by three. If you're doing a huge project like that, you don't want just three. No, I probably interviewed 20 and I'm not kidding, companies, and I just found somebody who had the same mind, the same th thought, and, and for the, the price that I was looking for, and I found them with a ton of prayer. And my point is, of all of this, is that I, I just, you know, you have to use your common sense and with courage, right? You have to be courageous. You can't just go around um, not moving because you're afraid, you know, it's okay to be afraid as long as you just keep moving, you know, and sometimes, um, not moving is also a thing in doing the right thing. So I just want to encourage you that, so when I'm bringing this up because, you know, he's working on my sub pump right now and for the whole time I've, I've been waiting for them to come, I'm like, oh, I feel sick, you know, because it's like the unknown. And then, yeah, so now more money is going to be taken out of my bank account. And it's just like, I always get like this in here kind of thing, you know? And look at the mister.
mister? Aww. I like how he wags his tail when I talk to him. It's so polite. So, you know, whatever it is, you know, I keep doing all these projects. Like, seriously, I had a new shed put in. The old one out. I had new siding. This is all after Mr. Fry. siding put on, new windows, a brand new roof just recently. Um, I've had trees taken out that were enormous. Um, I've had my whole entire ceiling done in the kitchen. I've had massive leaks in the house that I thought there was going to be lightning and a storm. Um, I had to have all that replaced. I had to have uh, floors and rugs and you name it. <laughs> I have had everything done. And now this whole Grafton property thing, right? In Grafton, New Hampshire, where we're gonna try to do it, not try, we are doing an Airbnb. Um, and I don't know what I'm doing with any of this, nothing. I just know I have a desire to do something and I pray and then I keep my eyes open, right? And I just keep investigating without making a move. Sometimes I do things very quickly. I'm just like, you know what? That's a really good deal. Like when the, the roof guy came, it was my only one. He was the only one that I had dealt with. And he exceeded my expectations because I had already done a bunch of research in my head by observing by asking people, oh, you got a new roof? How much was it for yours? Oh, what's your square feet? So I had already done that without researching the company. You see, so I had already gotten a better deal on a friend's house who paid more than me and their house is smaller. So I was like, as soon as he said the price, it so pleased me that I stood up and I just shook his hand. And I I said, you got a deal. And you are investigating it one way or another. <clears throat> so, you know, I really have no idea what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> I'm just using my common sense. I follow the intuition that God has put into us. And you're always keeping your eyes open, your eyes peeled. And that's basically what. And just to be courageous. And I'm so sick to my stomach half the time. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, am I doing the right thing? And then when all said and done, you know, I get to stand here and I get to say, wow, look it, I have a new roof. I have new siding. I have new windows. I'm getting a new sub pump. Thank God. And, you know, there are some projects still. You know, I, when I first, um, when Stephen passed away, I got the central AC because when we got here, we took that out. We disconnected everything. It was old and cruddy and I just, you know, we didn't think we could have a new one. So I did it. You know, I got a new furnace. I got everything is practically new and I just can rest. And that was my goal. My goal, always have a goal, right? Whatever it is you want. Um, my goal had always been, I want to have a strong fortress. I want to live here for the rest of my life and I want it to be strong. I want it to be a castle. I want, I do not want to worry anymore. You know, my, my mud room was falling down. And so I had that boosted up. Um, always trying to find great deals, great people who can do these things. I had a friend do that for the James. Um, now I have to repair a wall on that mud room. and I need a new bulkhead. And a new fence. When those things are done, I think my whole house will be complete and then I can rest. I can rest. So even though you're afraid, be brave. And then he can do the rest with your 
willingness, your cooperation. Again, sometimes you have to wait and that's okay. Okay, so I already worked for a customer watering their lawn. I just ate sauerkraut for breakfast. I fasted for 13 hours and so I ate the sauerkraut. So that way there, all my microbiome in my belly are going to eat and they're going to be happy now. And, and while that's, while they're eating, <laughs> I feel like I've just fed some creatures. Uh, while they're eating, I'm going to go and feed, you know, all my beautiful flowers and vegetables. And my mother's here, Graham from Grandmola, there she is. <laughs> And so things are getting done. It's a beautiful, glorious day. I got my grapes. Do you know that the birds ate all the cherries off my cherry tree? It's like, what is going on around here, honey? Uh, and I'll also water the dirt, <laughs> the grass, because I really want it to grow and not get burnt over the summer. So just a light touch, you know, nothing crazy. Well, at least they were kind enough to leave me one. I want to take it off, but I'm afraid. Like, is it going to be all right? Oh, all the cherries are gone, everybody. <laughs> Hear that noise? Oh, it's music to my ears. You know why? Because it means that something is getting fixed, repaired, something in my house. I love it.